Mr. Speaker, I beg to move the following motion standing in my name. Whereas it's provided under Section 16 of the Public Finance Management Act, Cap 15.0 on the Act, that the Minister of Finance may, by an affirmative resolution of Parliament, transfer from the Consolidated Fund a prescribed sum as may be required for the operation of the Contingencies Fund. And whereas it is further provided under Section 19.1 of the Act, that the Minister of Finance may, in the case of an urgent or unforeseen need for expenditure by a contingencies fund warrant in anticipation of the grant of an appropriation by Parliament of a rise and advance in the contingency fund where no monies have been appropriated or for which the sum appropriated is insufficient, funds cannot be relocated as provided, reallocated as provided for under Section 43. Public monies cannot be deferred without serious detriment to the public service. And whereas the Minister of Finance considers it necessary to transfer from the Consolidated Fund to the Contingency Fund the amount of EC 5.4 million to A, support the recovery efforts of the Department of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training due to the passage and damage caused by Tropical Storm Brett and B, cater for, cater for further emergencies. Be it resolved that Parliament authorizes the Minister of Finance to transfer from the Consolidated Fund to the Contingency Fund the amount of EC 5.4 million to support the recovery efforts of the Department of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training due to the passage and damage caused by Tropical Storm Brecht and B, cater for further emergencies. Mr. Speaker, this resolution is a creature of the public finance, the new Public Finance Management Act, which states that monies to go into the contingency fund for unforeseen circumstances have to be voted from Parliament from the consolidated fund. Mr. Speaker, as you know, the passage of Hurricane Brett caused damage to some schools and educational establishments in the country, I was considered necessary because of the urgency of the need to repair these buildings, these school buildings, that the cabinet and the Ministry of Education thought it necessary to get money from the contingency fund to, con con to transfer money from the considered fund into the contingency fund because what was in the contingency fund was not adequate. It was estimated, Mr. Speaker, that we needed some two point two two million dollars to effect these immediate repairs, particularly in the south of the country, where there were schools in Viewfort that got badly damaged. So we we thought it necessary that we had apart from the normal sums of money that usually being used during this time of year to repair schools generally in the country. We needed that, that extra sum to repair, the, particularly the roofs of these schools. So we transferred, we needed to transfer $5.4 million from the consolidated fund into the contingency fund to effect these repairs, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, and that comes in, light, in line with the educational support that we have given to schools this year. And every member of parliament who, um, got an allowance so could help in the educational education, to buy education supplies for students going to the constituency. And I stress every member of parliament, Mr. Speaker, every member of parliament. Um, every member of parliament, Mr. Speaker, got, a, got an allowance for his, for his school, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, talking about Hurricane Brett, you may know that the government also made available $2 million in income support for the farmers of this country um, to, to, to help in the, the damages caused by Hurricane Brett, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, so this is a simple resolution to ensure that we follow the dictates and the rules of the Finance Management Act, 
and we we want to start to work on these buildings in Viewfort at the earliest possible opportunity, possibly at before the end of this week, Mr. Speaker, we will begin repairs to these schools so that the children can, hopefully the children can get to school in September when the school terms begins. Mr. Speaker, I ask members to support this resolution. I thank you.